hello guys today I will discuss about the codable what is the codable protocol and how we are using an API so let's discuss the codable and uh, codable has the two properties that is encodable and decodable right the data can be encodable the data can be decodable if you are using of any object yeah, any classes that type of the codable they are able to convert in codable and encodable right encoding sorry encoding and decoding right what is the encoding process encoding basically that if you have a custom type of uh, instance that uh, you want to convert into the JSONs and uh, plist that is the type of encoding process right uh, what is the decoding process the decoding process is that if you have you just represent your uh, represent a data represent a json json into the form of the data that is the that is the codable that is the that is the that is the decodable process right and these two properties are containing is consist with the codable and so let's start with the demo that uh, I have an API that is the uh, this is an this is an API and how I will convert into the into the process of the codable right and uh, let's begin let's begin to the API access and uh, I have an functions right I have a functions to get user data this is the user data and uh, let's uh, let we have a URL and that is the URL of uh, URL strings that is the URL and and what we have URL string that is the strings is this right and now need to be you are a request uh, let uh, let we have a request we have a URL request that is the URL request and what we have the URL we have the URL this right now this request is type of the get and I can see here uh, we have the method type of is the get right so I need to be the method type should be get right it's I think it's mandatory that's why it's getting error right and now this request the URL URL request request should be type of method is the get method right you can type an string like get this right now what we we can use here for cannot assign the let okay this is the variable right okay right and uh, second is uh, I need to be codable data so how uh, how we can access from uh, uh, a web server into my into my uh, API list into my projects so we need to be you are we need to be URL sessions URL session is basically uh, written the data from an API that's why we are using the URL sessions and so let's URL session equal to URL session that type is shared and uh, let's URL session sorry URL session we have this we have this one right URL session and data task with URL sorry data task with the URL request oh no data task with URL request what we have the URL request this is URL request and what we need here is we need 
to be data and response and uh, and error right we have this now I can check here if data if let data equal to data is right then I can use the do statements do a statement here is for the catch uh, as well CATC is catch for error handling and that let error that error is print error localization descriptions right now we have this and then if data is the data then uh, I can check here right let's let my data now I can okay one another method or JSON decoder JSON decoder is the method to be uh, used in the codable thing let decoder sorry decoder right and that is the JSON decoder let my da user data user data equal to json sorry decoder is the decoder and decodable right decodable is what we have what type of what type of uh, what type of data will convert the type of data should be codable so I need to be create a structures right uh, this is an structures name is the uh, uh, name is uh, let's persons and let's person the type of codable right the type should be the codable and uh, what we have here or what we have then this is the login and ID this is the login it means the name uh, variable uh, let's name is a string this is type of a strings right and uh, a late uh, node ID a variable and this is uh, word ID node node ID this is also the strings and second what we can do what we can do this is okay just two things I need to be everything will be considered with the if you need right the type of uh, codable that persons that persons right persons and that is the dot self and what we need to be need to be data to be convert from this format so we have the user data right the data okay let's okay this that should be the try because I have used uh, do catch a statement try catch a statement and it should be here the try now we need to be print out and uh, I just create a view controller and that view is that uh, some level is here and uh, I have uh, I need to be to use two label and uh, that's fun for example this is the label name and and second should be the what what was here node ID okay just drag and drop here for the label and uh, uh, node ID for the node ID that is a strings label LBL right and now created the outlet and that that, that is the label all right all right you can go here and uh, call with the if Hi. One more things. If you want to paint on any the do statements uh, into the, your levels, yeah, into your UI, so that that can be used is dispatch queue for the main thread, all right? Because you want to be execute on UI, uh, displaying in UI. That's why you can use the dispatch queue for the main thread dispatch. Dispatch Q 
queue dispatch queue main dispatch queue dispatch oh, wait wait a second dispatch queue okay dot uh, main mm -hmm. dot asynchronous code and what we have label name dot text text equal to user data dot we have the name and second is the label and uh, dot text equal to sorry we don't have the label we don't want to be able this is the node id node lab id label dot text all right and this is the user data dot node id okay let's what what we are using here we we are not passing the data we just decode them we are decoding the decoding the encoded data we just decode it encoded data into the user format right user need formats so i think you got uh, we just need to be built uh, i just need to display and this is the uh, what this is see count 86 and need to be this id as well right need to be display on the view on v controller all right okay just wait a few seconds and and, and uh, this is very fast execute executable data and uh, okay just we need to be call this one from v controller from we did load functions right and this is right actually we have separation now we, we we are we just passing the data we are we are writing the most most of the most of the code in uh, to pass the data and uh, that's why Oh, that should be the resume uh, if you are using the data task it should be the resume here's right so need to be resume dot resume and I will print it so you need to be you need to be uh, okay we just for a few seconds okay okay got and got the point this is and this is the idea resume basically we have used for uh, for handling the data and displaying so that's why this is the data task methods that is using the resume all the data okay guys i think you have actually we json decoder is used is to use for very fast executions as well as we have the less code for for passing the data that's why we are using the json decoder right uh, all right guys i think you you have understand the everything how we are how we using the codable protocol uh, to passing the data so that's guys if you have any doubt you can comment and uh, you can comment on my videos and uh, uh, i have i have given more time uh, in my video and uh, if you like and subscribe me i will motivated i will motivate for making video uh, for all learners so that's this so this that's that's all right thanks bye